is Monday, May 21st, 2018. Let's take a look at the news. So it hasn't hit the headlines yet, but Q posted a picture of the presidential pen and the signature on the executive order, getting ready to uh, demand that the Department of Justice start turning over the documents that is being asked for. We expect this to come about on Wednesday, the 23rd, which was alluded to by Q, which is fitting. 23 is the death number. It's kind of like the equivalent of throwing down the ace of spades on their doorstep. And so uh, it looks like America is going to start turning around if the left doesn't have a complete, total, and utter breakdown as a result of, uh, you know, justice and the truth to start coming out. Then we're going to be fine. Slowly and surely, the sleeping masses are going to start to wake up because that's what wakes a person up is cold, hard truth. I guess the big question is, can that be given to someone? Can a person be administered that truth and have them wake up? Or does it have to happen on a sort of inner individual personal basis? We're going to find out. We're going to find out very in the next few weeks, I would wager. And it couldn't come soon enough. NewYorkPost.com, robots can now grow human organs. Variety.com, Barack Michelle Obama sign a Netflix deal. We've heard about this before. And what's the angle here? Is it just desperation, crossing their fingers, closing their eyes, holding their breath, just hoping this is all going to go away and they can quietly just have a, a Netflix deal? live the rest of their life in peace. It's fascinating watching the reactions of the criminals. It's really almost exactly the same as seeing a small child, a small nasty little child who is caught doing something and just will not fess up, will not, uh, will not surrender. Thetimes.co.uk, I am your protector, Iradogan tells EU's Muslims. I don't know how to say his name the Turkish leader. It looks like we're going to war with Turkey if things don't get taken care of in the way that Iran and North Korea are getting taken care of. Gizmodo.com. Google removes nearly all mentions of Don't Be Evil. Their logo was Don't Be Evil. And those of us conspiracy theorists that have been sort of following this thing for a while saw right away when Google came out with that don't be evil logo. It was awful, awful, suspicious, kind of strange. And now they're removing it. My guess is they're removing it to sort of change their image. But the timing of the removal almost seems symbolic. It's time to come out of the closet, they're saying. It's time for us to just be as evil as we want to be. Yahoo.com stars urge Indonesia to ban brutal trade in dog meat. You know, this is a great, I think, just the headline alone. The stars ignore anything of any, of any real importance. The grassroots Iranian revolution, they ignore that. Human sex trafficking war that's been going on, they ignore that. People eating dogs, that they're outraged by. And this is their culture. It's the same as being outraged by people eating chicken or cows, and that happens. But look, who cares what you think? Stars. And I'm really proud of my country because it seems like a good amount of us are starting to wake up to the fact that it's really infantile and stupid and hobbling to form the habit of having these love affa mental love affairs with people that you don't know. Stars and royalty and stuff. It's not good for us. WashingtonExaminer.com, Stephen Miller, Trump America's negotiator-in-chief, what voters wanted times 10. Yeah, I mean, first of all, he's the only guy in our lifetime who got in there and did what he said he was going to do. That alone should be enough for everyone to be pretty much supportive and on board. And it's surprising that that's not the case. I would say... 
if you, at this point, if you still hate this guy, then there's something wrong with you. You are either an evil person or you're mentally confused or brainwashed or emotionally confused or you're stuck in some weird pattern that you've been stuck in for a long time that has nothing to do with this guy, has nothing to do with anyone. So you've just become sort of unhappy with everything and projecting on everything. I don't know, but it's unfortunate because it's an extraordinary time and it's a time to be real grateful. And more than that, it's a time to be inspired into doing something because uh, you can't, it's amazing how how much power one person has and if if he fails if him and this entire if this movement fails things are going to change at a rapid pace so it's time to get on board bin time bin time get on board jpost.com pompeo promises strongest sanctions in history on iran and we saw that work with North Korea, and I imagine it'll work with Iran, because when you think about it, these two countries, Iran and North Korea, have been on our, or maybe I don't want to say our, they've been on the deep state's pocketbook for a long time. They haven't really needed to be independent because they are not independent. They're proxies. They've been held up. And so I would imagine just cutting that money off is going to do it, because they don't know it. All they know how to do is serve evil and when and when you cut that source off they're going to come to the table i think we're going to see in short order what happened to north korea it happened to iran it's it's amazing so stand tall this week it's going to be the time this is the week of the shift in america at least if you have friends that are more on the left and are in the brainwashed category then be there for them because uh they're gonna they're going to have some serious cognitive dissonance coming down this week. Hopefully, it's going to be such an intense dose of it that it will just sort of trigger an awakening. You know, that would be superb. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.